Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the invertebrates, animals without a backbone. Invertebrates are all around us, much like these insects here, and sometimes they're even inside of us. What all invertebrates have in common is that they don't have a spinal cord or a notochord. In this video, I'll cover eight phylum of invertebrates, starting with periphera. Next we have Nadaria, Platyhelminthes, Nemahelminthes, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, and Echnodermata. I will also give very brief characteristics of each of the phylums. Up first is periphera. These are invertebrates that we normally call sponges. They mostly live in salty seawater on the ocean floor. They are covered with pores and they are also filter feeders. Nadaria are invertebrates that are famous for their stinging cells. Common examples are jellyfish and also sea anemones. They're mostly found in the ocean and they sting and hurt. This phylum, Platyhelminthes, include flatworms. Probably the most famous one are tapeworms and you can see from the picture they are flat and ugly. They also are mainly parasitic worms that live inside organisms. These worms are called pinworms but they don't really look like worms. They belong to the phylum Nemahelminthes and they are a group of worms that have thread-like round bodies, they have a mouth and an anus, and they are mainly parasites. This next phylum, Annelida, include your segmented worms. They're probably the most famous worms, the earthworms, and you can tell from the picture they have tiny segments. They also have a crop in a gizzard and a fairly complex digestive system. Arthropoda include organisms with an exoskeleton and a head, thorax, and abdomen. They're subdivided into arachnids, which include spiders, crustaceans, which include lobsters, and a very large group called insects that are found throughout the world. This next phylum, called the mollusca, include organisms with a soft body, and many of them have a shell, like a snail but others their shell is internal. It includes octopus, squid, cuttlefish, and even slugs. These starfish are one group of organisms found in the Echnodermata. They are animals that have spines all over their body. They are mostly found on the ocean floor. They do have a mouth and an anus and they can move but it's slowly. There's a quick overview of the invertebrates in the different phylums. I've created a more detailed video for each one of the phylums and I'll leave a link in the show notes. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math and Science uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.